Hey man, okay? Easy, easy. I can do this by myself, okay? That... <sighs> Thank you. In this video, we will discuss with all of you how to shoot for a green screen and more specifically how to light a green screen and the subject so they blend smoothly with those AI-generated images we love crafting in Filmora 13. Let's go! Hey, hello there, my name is Andres and I'm here to empower your inner video creator. Green screen is a common technique used in Hollywood to create realistic looking scenes. While we might not have Hollywood's budget to produce our videos, we can still strive for perfection. This way, our scenes won't look unrealistic, like this. Hey, by the way, have you realized that Hollywood sometimes uses green screen and other times they use blue screen? Do you know why? If you happen to know the answer, leave it in the comment section below. And no, the answer is not just the color of the outfits or the skin tones of the characters. There are other things to consider, so just go comment your answer, okay? Before diving into lighting tips for green screen, let's check a few in-camera setups that you might want to think about before you shoot, because this can help you get better results. First, choose your shutter speed. Slower speeds capture more light but introduce motion blur. Higher speeds result in a cleaner look but can make movements appear unnatural. Second, a focus shift on the subject can complicate the keying process, and to achieve a realistic look, it is important to match the depth of field between the subject and the AI image. Third, ensure that the camera angle and height align with both your subject and the AI image, ensuring a seamless match between them. Okay, a good lining setup when shooting in front of a green screen is pretty much the most important thing to do and is actually pretty simple to explain. Basically, what you want to know is this. Start by choosing the background with the 13 AI image tool. This step will enable you to create a lighting plan based on your available equipment, saving you time on set. So this light, so we have a side light, this is very warm, okay, right? So this wall here is pretty warm. Yeah. yeah right now it's pretty white, so it's not Yeah, matching. but we're gonna change that, right? Okay. So, and also we have a chill, um, we have a chill backlight. Okay, do you think this wall is giving some reflection? Like, mm. is this, this light is reflecting from this? I don't think so. I think the shadows are very dark all over the okay. image, so we should keep your shadows very dark as well. Okay, so, so two lights. Two lights. Done. Super dope. When lighting a green screen, aim for even, consistent lighting. And ensure the green screen is evenly lit to achieve a uniform green value. On your shooting day, ensure there is a wide distance between your subject and the green screen to avoid color spills or shadows. This will simplify the keying process. Finally, it's time to light your subject. We start by placing our two lights to match the light source in the AI image. We set the temperature of the key light and added a CTB gel on the backlight to get that teal tone. However, we ended up adjusting the white balance on the camera from 6000K to 4000K to create a colder look and ensure a more accurate light match with the background. Oh, your head. <laughs> yeah. Just go a little lower. Okay. okay. <laughs> And that's it. By applying all these tips when shooting in front of a green screen, you will get a more professional look. And also, you'll have to consider to do a proper color correction in Filmora 13 to match the vibe of the scene. If you want to know more about how to remove a green screen in Filmora 13, check out these videos in our channel for more in-depth information. And remember, if you know the answer to the question of why Hollywood sometimes uses green screen or blue screen, leave it in the comment section below. And before you go, remember to explore the latest trends on the top trending video topic page for hundreds of global videos ideas, find inspiration and delve into these topics to spark creative ideas for your own videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.